Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So this is a uh, wrap-up video on the uh, ON30 layout. Now I'm still gonna be doing things. I've got other stuff to do on it yet. Like I still gotta do a coaling uh, little tower. But the major construction was done and finished in the last video. Um, this one is going to be a walkabout, uh, lessons learned, uh, things that I do different, uh, things that I like, as well as uh, just watching the trains run. So uh, starting down here is if I had more space, I would have made the tables a little bigger. Now, four and a half feet wide is perfect. Uh, you know, I get a nice uh, curve on uh, all of these, but I would have made this end piece another foot long or longer and the same for this end piece another foot longer and the reason for that is I would be able to soften my grades a little bit now for an arrow gauge it looks really cool and uh, my locomotives are not having difficulty running on the narrow gauge track just you know, for an uh, operating standpoint, having the uh, grade a little less because I'd have a little more space, um, I, you know, personally, I think it would look a little better. Plus, you know, I'd get another uh, foot of scenery on all sides. So, um, I like the logging camp. I think this area turned out really well. I liked building the trees, you know, the detailing on it. I've got my one spur coming in and I can do switching if I want to. Uh, over here, you know, corner stuff, adding details really turned out nice. You know, here, I really like the effect of the bridge and the other bridge, but if I had another foot of space, this would be out farther and probably this would be close to where it is now. That would have given me more separation on the bridge from the cliff face. So I could have done a little bit more here to uh, make it a little bit more realistic. But overall, you know, I like the effect. Uh, you know, it runs, runs well. Coming around over this way, again, I like the rock. I like the uh, strata that I was able to put in to this. You know, if I did it again, uh, if I added this foot space, I'd probably make a little bit bigger water feature. You know, just some different things to do in different areas. Coming over this way, you know, I like how this looks. Uh, if you watch earlier videos, uh, you saw I was originally talking about having three bridges. You know, this one, this one, and I was originally gonna put one in through here. You know, I'm glad that I didn't. Uh, that would not have looked good. I would have had to have made a cut into here and put another bridge right here and then a cut into there. But that would have cut into my scenery and my view block. So I'm glad that I didn't do that. I think this looks pretty good just the way it is. Now the uh, backdrop, I like the backdrop. Uh, you know, it blends in well. It gives me that good view block here. It comes apart well and you know, I'm happy with it. What I would do different, though, is I would make it a half or three quarter inches lower. And the reason is, you can see like right here, and then some right there, that's where it hit going into the back of the trailer when I took it to the uh, Richmond uh, Greenberg train show. So it's just a hair too tall. Uh, so doing it again, I, I would make that a little bit smaller. And you can take out some oils on there. You know, I'm not too worried about that. Coming over here, you know, if I uh, would stay with this space uh, for this layout, and if I had to do it again, I would make high point about another inch, inch and a half lower. Similar to what I was talking about earlier, my grades would uh, be a little bit less. I wouldn't quite have the uh, drop coming onto the trestle to go down here. I could have had a little bit smoother transition. And this is already low 
compared to the original. Uh, some of the other videos I think I showed you that originally it was still up at like a couple of inches higher and just, it just wouldn't work. So I lowered everything. If I had to do it over again, I would lower it a little bit more. I think that would have made it look a little bit better. Adding the uh, trestle in place, this was a fun build. Uh, you know, having to do it in place. If I do it again, I would uh, make sure that, you know, I was back a little farther because I had to make it look like they built out a base on here and there to hide the plywood that the track is on. So, you know, kind of a oops on my part, but, you know, still kind of effective where they added more decking to uh, make it a little more robust before it goes up and over the uh, lower tracks. Uh, in this area, and I like this bridge, I like the vertical scenery on it, uh, probably not do anything really different here, except maybe, maybe if I do it over again, I would make one of these cuts a little bit deeper coming down, so that, you know, kind of show natural flow of water coming off and going down to that part, but that would be about it. Up here at the cabin scene, I like the cabin scene. You know, that old uh, Plasticville kit, uh, weathered up and painted and a little bit of additional detailing made it look nice. Uh, the details around the uh, cabin, I like. Uh, you know, I like having the cops there. You know, the guy in the uh, outhouse in the back there. You know, and even though you can't see it, unless you're really tall or you get your camera up, you know, I've got a trail that's modeled in that goes back to the still. Uh, so this scene, I really like. I like the uh, grade crossings out of, you know, the scrap pieces of lumber that I had laying around. You know, the uh, features with the burn barrel where I can make it smoke, I really like, uh, you know, I've enjoyed doing that. Plus this is a great, area to rail fan as the trains come up fighting up the grade coming around and going past the cabin here always makes it look good scenery over here i like the trees uh, you know some of my later scratch builds which are much more detailed fit in well here you know coming across this way you know i've got the uh still scene back in there. I really like that. That looks nice. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably put a smoke unit over that way, just have a little bit of smoke coming up. However, moonshiners don't want to advertise where they're at, so yeah, maybe not, but I like that. Over here, let's see. Let's go uh, over to the other side, actually, and let's talk a little bit more over there. So underneath, I like my little two-track staging that's under there for the O standard. Two trains, I can put them in opposite directions, switch them up every time that I want to do something a little different. Easy toggle controls. Uh, you know, I do like that I'm using old equipment and it's DC for the O standard. And then uh, DCC, powered by a little Prodigy Express for the ON30. You know, I think that turned out pretty well here. The little service area, uh, I like how this looks. You know, I like the uh, buildings that I was able to put in here. And, you know, I made it look busy, but not too busy. I'm gonna add a few more details, but that's about it in this area. You know, it's a good little place that I originally was thinking lumber yard or, you know, sawmill. But then the more I thought about it, the more it's up in the mountains, it'd be a good little service facility for the narrow gauge. Uh, you know, some buildings, and workers, and small little engine house. You know, it's still in the heyday. They're still making money off of this line, so they're doing some investment into the service area. You know, maybe in the future, might put lights in some of these. I don't know. You know, it's not high on my priority list that since this is a show layout, uh, I don't want to overcomplicate it and make more work for myself than I have to. But, uh, you know, we'll see. That's uh, always a future project. Uh, over here, I wish I had taken a little bit more care when I cut the tracks. I uh, was using my 32 uh, teeth per uh, inch 
a hacksaw, a fine blade, really good at cutting the track. But my jig slipped, so I've got some scoring. You know, it doesn't look all that great. But the trains run over it well as long as I've got everything aligned on here. So this area, I really like this area. Um, I like the uh, seam on the modules. It looks pretty good. You have to look and you can see it, but you really got to look for it. Over here, lots of nice scenery. Got some uh, hobos in this scene. You know, I've got this guy kind of walking here. I've got the little hobo camp right here with its burn barrel that produces smoke. You know, up in this area, I've also put uh, more of my more recent scratch build trees like that so that I've got my uh, background type trees and then uh, this one. Now, if I were making this as a stationary layout and there would be a like permanent back back there, I'd be putting these types of trees in the background for filler and then I'd be making a lot more of this type of tree and these types of trees for the foreground, just to bring that realism a little bit closer to the eye. But overall, it worked out pretty good. You know, I've got uh, some deer in the draw, lots of flowers. Makes it, uh, makes it come alive. The uh, paint for the fascia, I like that forest green uh, oil-based enamel. Gives it a nice shine, gives it a nice look. Uh, I like this as well for how I did my wiring so that I could bring my connections to the front and just quick disconnect here, just pinch it, boom, it's off, and I can pull the layout apart. You've seen that in different videos. Uh, it's easy to make the connections. I don't have to crawl underneath. Keeps little fingers off of it, it shows. Putting the uh, sliding drawers in, really good as well. At some point in time, I might put something on the front or a little lip just to make sure things don't fall out, but that works well. Casters, putting the layout on wheels, um, I, absolutely necessary for it being a show layout and in my garage because I need to move them all around. The levelers, definitely a good investment. My garage is not level by any stretch of the imagination. And where I built the layout was about four feet that direction. If I get it put into that position, everything aligns perfectly. But when I move it, even a few inches, you know, I get tilts and it doesn't. So the levelers absolutely, positively need to be there. Little access holes work perfect. You know, I can get my hand in if I need to, to clean track, grab a derailed car, which if I have a derailment, it tends to happen in here, just off the switch, but I think I've got most of the, the cars adjusted, coupler height adjusted. It also is perfect little viewports for kids. So kids can kind of come up and take a peek and see the trains on the inside. And more than one adult did that as well. Uh, it's kind of fun to see their expressions as the trains come barreling by them. I haven't had a kid put a hand in yet. I'm sure at some point in time that's going to happen. But uh, I'll be watching because it's usually it's this one or that one are the, uh, the critical ones. The other side I didn't put anything in because I can reach in underneath. Doing the uh, tunnel liner really really worked nicely i am able to have a view block i've got my stuff where you know, trains go into it come out of it from a dark space the other side the one that i just finished i probably at some point will add another couple of inches to it just to give it a little bit more of a block uh, just kind of hide it a little better. You know, I'm satisfied with it, but I want it to be a little bit bigger. So, overall, I'm very happy with this layout and very happy with how it runs. I can sit back and just enjoy watching the trains go. I can do a little bit of switching if I so desire. I've got a lot of O-scale equipment that I've picked up over the past few months that I can uh, do some painting, do some uh, corrective work on. So I can be running all kinds of different trains and roads on the O standard. I've got enough ON30 equipment to keep me out of mischief and run for quite a while. So I am a happy camper here. 
So with this little segment, this is going to wrap up the uh, main video sequence for the uh, Appalachian and White Lightning Railroad build. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. I will uh, continue to do videos. I'm sure I'm going to be doing some yet for this layout. Uh, you know, I've got different things to build, different details to add, so there's still going to be additional videos. But the uh, major construction, the scenery, is complete. I can run the layout. I can have fun with the layout. Uh, I will be starting to look for more shows to potentially take this layout to in the near future. Still need to get a trailer, but uh, you know, I can, I'll figure that one out here. So with that, keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.